Hello friends. Today's practice is a practice for transition and release. It's going to be a full authentic traditional yoga practice so it might have elements you're not used to but in the spirit of trying new things and being open to change put on something comfy and join me on the mat. Hello, my beautiful friends. So, as I mentioned, today's practice is about transition and release with a theme of surrender. So, it's a pretty natural human reaction anytime we're going through any kind of change, whether it's one that we want or not, to have some resistance. We resist change a lot because your subconscious mind is trying to protect you and what's unknown could be dangerous. So when we're going through a time of change, maybe it's seasonal, could be very personal, job related, could be something that just suddenly happened that is making change occur in your life where it could be a change you're trying to invite. It's important that we release, that we surrender these limiting beliefs that create that resistance so that we can experience the change with a greater sense of ease and being able to see all of the situation so that we recognize where there is potential for opportunities and always growth. So let's just tune into this space a space of quiet, of some stillness that is always within you, even if you can't find it. So bringing the hands to Namaskar Mudra at the heart, fingers together. We'll just close down the eyes and we'll chant three Om together. Exhale. Inhale to begin. Om. Inhale. Om. One more. beautiful mantra for the theme of surrender is Om Samer Piyami Namaha. It means I allow myself to surrender, to open up to something new, to surrender the limiting beliefs, to surrender whatever is not serving you here in this moment for this purpose. Yes? So I'm just going to chant the mantra. Close your eyes. Just listen, let the sound wash over you. It just helps to create the vibration. And maybe while you're sitting with your eyes closed, hands on your knees, palms facing up, touch the index finger to the thumb, and set your intention. Think about what you hope to get out of this practice about what you might need to let go of or even just being open surrendering to the change that's happening um, Om 
samarpyame namaha So let's begin. And we always start our practice with a pranayam for letting go, for detoxification, purification. Purification is always the first step in yoga. So there are many beautiful benefits for purification of the body to this first breath. But what we're focused on right now allowing the detoxification from our system, but also let's focus on emotional and psychological release. Yes, those thoughts that don't serve you, any negative thought patterns, emotions that we once had and are still following us, they're stale, they need to go. So we're going to be doing Kapalabhati breath, shining skull breath. And this is a focus on an active exhale, and then you just release and the inhale happens naturally. So all of the action is happening below the navel. When you completely exhale, you feel a natural pulling in from the lower abdomen and a gentle lift from the pelvic floor. So that's where your focus is, in and up. If anyone is experiencing a really bad headache, like a migraine, any kind of constipation, high blood pressure, or if you're on your cycle, just keep this nice and slow, but I'm going to pace this very slowly today anyway. If you're pregnant, don't do this at all. Just stay with a nice, gentle, slow breath. So let me demonstrate. You'll be sitting in your easy pose, Hips lifted if that's comfortable for you. Hands in Gyan Mudra, fingertips to the thumb. And again, active exhale, natural inhale through the nose. So it sounds like this. All right, I'm going to be going slower than that. So, <laughs> so don't worry. Now I'm going to close down the eyes. Maintain a very gentle focus, just an awareness of the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. <clears throat> and make your way into an exhale all the way. And then just a gentle inhale to begin. a few more seconds and your last five, four, three, two, one. Exhale all the way. Empty, empty. Hold the breath out for a few seconds, creating space. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Big inhale into the belly, lower lungs, top it off, upper lungs, and a long exhale. Let's do that again. Big, full, round inhale. Expand in every direction. And a nice exhale. One more time, just like that, in and out. Releasing the breath, just breathing naturally, softly here. Maintaining that gentle focus at the third eye. I'll invite you to take a very soft self-scan, not judging, simply witnessing how you're feeling right now at the beginning of your practice. We're not judging, we're not pushing or forcing anything, just notice. And now keeping the eyes softly closed. We'll do five rounds of Brahmari Pranayam. This is also called Honeybee Breath. It's a big full inhale and a honeybee sound in the throat riding on the exhale. Sounds like this. Mm. This is a wonderful reset for all of those old patterns that are making things maybe a bit more bumpy than they need to be. This helps to create a vibration that releases those things we hold on to. So again, exhale all the way. Big, big inhale this time. And begin. Gentle smile on your face. the breath, relax your throat, gentle focus of the third eye, just rest here. Gently open your eyes. Wonderful. So, starting with me, let's take an inhale, raising the arms up, reach. And as we exhale, twist to your right. Right hands, fingertips or palm on the floor. Not leaning forwards or back. We're creating a counter pressure. So your right knee will be pressing towards the floor as your left hand pulls up, right? This helps straighten the spine a little bit. And then very gently with your neck, looking over the shoulder. And you still wanna be able to breathe into the belly. So if your breath is restricted, just back off your twist a little.
Beautiful. On your next inhale, back up to center. Reach. And exhale, twist to your left. Same thing, counter pressure. Belly breathing. up to center, stretch, and exhale, hands down. We're going to come into Majriyasana Cat Pose. So make your way to your knees, inviting you to move very slowly here. If you need to place something under your wrists or your knees, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, so I'm sure most of you are familiar with this being called cat cow. It's just cat. So um, let me demonstrate here, okay? We're not just folding our body in half. Some people act like there's a string pulling their mid back. That's not great for your spine. So just watch me for this first round. We're gonna keep the belly strong, energetically moving it towards the spine here as we exhale. And then on an inhale, raise the head, drop the chest, the belly, tailbone points up. On an exhale, tuck the chin, round the shoulders, the back, tailbone points down. Right? With me, we're creating a gentle wave with the spine. So we're going to do five rounds of that. Ready? Take an exhale, belly strong. Inhale, lift the head, drop the chest, the belly, tailbone up. Exhale. Tuck the chin, round the shoulders, the back, tailbone down. Inhale, head, chest, belly, tailbone. Exhale, head, shoulders, back, tailbone. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale, last time, inhale, and exhale, and inhale to release back to your table. We're going to tuck the toes here and gently raise the hips up to the ceiling. Pedal it out. This is part of a toss in, my friend. This is mountain pose. Stretching the hamstrings a little bit. And then let's take a stroll up to the top of the mat and we'll meet in a forward fold. Bending the knees as generously as you need to here, right? We're not having straight legs. We want the belly resting on the thighs, We're supporting the lower back. If your hamstrings need you to bend your legs more, just do so. And on an inhale, just gently roll up to standing. Tadasana, which means palm tree pose. So let's ground down through the feet, pressing the heels, the front pads of the feet into the mat. Raise your happy toes 
and this creates a lift in the arch of the foot. So you're, you're zipped nice and straight from the waist down, grounding you. And from the waist up, you're lifted, lifting the crown, tucking the chin back a little bit, maintain integrity in the neck. Om Samarpyami Namaha. Breathe. On your next inhale, raise the arms up overhead, lengthening the spine. Take a gentle back bend if you can. And exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You can have your hands on the floor or on your shins, but the back is straight. On your next exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, bent knees, flat back, raise the head, raise the arms, gentle back bend. Exhale, Namaskar Tadasana. <laughs> if you wobble, get back into your spot. Let's do that two more times, right? Inhale, raise the arms overhead. Back bend, exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, let it go, surrender. Inhale, soft knees, flat back, raise the head, raise the arms, gentle back bend, exhale, namaskar tadasana. Don't let anyone rush you. If you need to go slower, do so. Last time, inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, flat back. Raise the head, raise the arms. Exhale, Namaskar Tadasana. Beautiful. So we'll do another one that you're probably familiar with for just moving the spine in all the directions. So you can have your feet hip width apart. You can have them really close together. Whatever is more comfortable for you for moon pose. Also balancing the hemispheres of the brain. So clasp the fingers. Raise your arms up overhead, and we're inhaling to the center and exhaling to the right. Just breathe here, belly strong. We're not leaning forwards or back. If you're scrunching up your neck and this is too much on your shoulders, keep your hands behind your head. Breathing into the side body. Inhale up to center, reach and then up and over to the left. Beautiful. Inhale center. Stretch, reach for the sky, and exhale, bring the hands to Namaskar. Beautiful friends, beautiful, beautiful. So back still at the top of your mat. Let's just gently roll down, bend the knees. And place your hands on the floor, palms or fingertips. And step the left leg back pretty far and drop the knee. Shetakasana, horse pose. So we want to feel a really good stretch in the hips here. We carry a lot of emotion in the hips and so opening them helps to release some of that. Some of those emotions that may be holding us back. So you're going to have your left hand planted on the floor. If you feel you need more space in this pose, use a block, right? So 
we're going to have the hand planted pretty even with your foot. And then we're going to twist up to the right, raise the arm, and have the right hand in Gyan Mudra. We'll do three more Brahmari breaths here, focusing the vibration in the hips. To the mat, sweeping the right leg back behind you. Let's just lift for another mountain pose. Just a quick stretch and then as you exhale lower the knees down again. Now bringing the left foot forward. All right again just test it out make sure you're feeling a nice stretch but you can still be stable. Placing the right hand down on the mat. Twisting to the left, raise the left arm, hand in Gyan Mudra. Close down the eyes if you're comfortable, if you feel balanced. Three more Brahmari. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Find another big inhale and exhale, knees to the mat. Beautiful. Let's swing and stretch the legs out in front of us. So our next pose, Matsyashan, fish pose. We're going to be opening the heart. So we're energetically opening to the new things in our life, yes. So allow me just to demonstrate. We're gonna be laying down and gently rock your hips and bring your hands, palms down under your hips. On an inhale, we're gonna lift the head and shoulders, walk the elbows behind you, snuggle the shoulder blades together as you inhale again, rock back over the elbows a little bit and exhale the crown of the head to the mat. So the weight of your body is not on your head. We're being kind to our necks. Yes? This is a beautiful antidepressant pose. Can help relieve some of the anxiety that we tend to feel around change. So let's get into position, hands under the hips, palms facing down, exhale, stretch the legs. On an inhale, head and chest up, walk the elbows behind you, snuggle the shoulder blades, exhale. Inhale, slightly rock back. Exhale, lower the crown of the head to the mat. And just breathe here. Om Samer Pyami Namaha. Just surrender. On your next inhale, Lift the head and chest, 
And just gently come out of the pose. Find an exhale and bring the knees to the chest. And give yourself a nice hug here. On an exhale, bring the head towards the knees with the intention of touching your nose to your knees, yeah? Breathe deep into the belly. Feel the gentle pressure from the thighs. Inhale and lift a little bit more. And then exhale, let it all go. Stretch out your legs, a little bit wider than hip width apart, let them fall open. Have the arms out to the side, palms facing up. And close down your eyes for a brief savasana. Allowing the legs to become very heavy here. Feel the weight of the ankles and the hips into the floor. As you take a breath and exhale, feel the chest and the belly just sink down so softly. Release the shoulders, release the neck, relax the jaw, relax the tongue, letting go of any tension in the muscles around the eyes, between the eyebrows. Even letting the eyeballs just sink into the sockets. Feel the skin just gently draping over the face. And just rest here for a moment. Om Samarpyami Namaha.
beautiful, gently coming back to this moment. Begin by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Rotate the wrists and ankles if that feels good. Gently rock the head side to side. And softly bending the knees. Just roll over onto your right side. And as you're ready, walk yourself back up to sitting. Finish with a little pranayam and meditation. So finding your comfortable seat, take a little wiggle, come to your center, some stillness. Hands on the knees, Gyan Mudra. Closing down the eyes. Another round of Kapalabhati. This time I'll have you retain the breath out and then in for a few seconds. Yes, creating space, bringing in new energy. You know the drill and you know if you should not be doing this. So let's make our way into a complete exhale. And then a big inhale. Let it all go. And now just a gentle inhale to begin. Four, three, two, one. Exhale all the way, completely empty. Hold the breath out. Breathe when you absolutely need to. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right away, big inhale, top it off, hold the breath in, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, exhale, and then a nice round inhale into the belly, lower lungs, Upper lungs, pause, slow exhale all the way. Another big round, full recovery breath in and slowly out. Last time in and let it out. Releasing the breath, gentle focus at the third eye. Just sit and be.
for our next breath. Gently open your eyes. You're going to want to make sure that you have a little bit of space here. Just let me demonstrate for a second. It'll be an inhale with the arms out to the side. And as we exhale, we twist, starting with the right. As we twist on either side, it's a gentle tap just below the collarbone. We're not banging on the heart here. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out. This is an active breath, so it's gonna go a little bit quick. If you need to take this slow, do so. Ready? Let's do this together. Inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, twist right. In, out. That's one round. Two, two, three, three. twist. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Inhale, center. Hands in Gyan Mudra. Gently lift the chin. Close the eyes. Just feel. Hold the breath in. And exhale, hands to your knees, palms facing up, Gyan Mudra. Gentle focus at the third eye, eyes closed. Big breath in. And out. Two more big full recovery breaths like that. And then just release. And sit. Just feel. Keeping the eyes closed, just listen to my voice. For 11 more rounds of Brahmari, creating more space to bring in the new. Find a nice big inhale, gentle smile on your face, and begin. Mm.
as you are. Relax the throat. Amri also helps to lead us into a deeper meditation, which is already happening. So just lean into that. Spine is straight. And everything else hangs off of the spine like a coat on a hanger. Om Samarpyami Namaha. For a few minutes, just rest here in your true self, which is expansive, open, still, joyful, fearless. If the mind wanders, return to the breath. You're always welcome to continue with the bramery. Very softly feeling back into the body and take one more gentle self scan and notice how you might feel at the end of your practice. Keeping the eyes closed. very slowly, bringing the hands back to Namaskar Mudra at the heart, fingers together. We're going to end every practice with the Akanda Mantra, which is a mantra that offers 
gratitude for the gift of yoga, beginning with Arinath Shiv all the way through the yogis and yoginis who have kept these traditions alive, sometimes taking great risk to do so. You can just keep your eyes closed and listen with a feeling of deep gratitude. We will chant the Akanda Mantra followed by one Om Tri Shanti. <clears throat> Om Akanda Mandalakaram Vyaptam Hine Chara Charam Tataram Darshitam Yene Tasmai Shri Guru Venama Om Shanti 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 Namaste my beautiful friends Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me Keep that wonderful smile on your face and hopefully I will see you again on the mat soon.